Knock is a bow and arrow soccer style game. So there's a ball that floats around and you need to hit it into your opponent's net to score a goal. In order to do this, you hold the bow in your left hand and you shoot the arrow with your right hand. The movements are very easy to learn. You use your bow hand to move forward and it's kind of like a skating motion that moves you through the arena. You use your arrow hand to push yourself off the ground and jump. You can use the A key on your right controller to drop cubes. You'll see one right here that get the opponent has dropped. And those are blocks, so you can use those to block the direction of the ball and they stay in place for a while. As you play, you need to collect your arrows. The little green balls represent one arrow each. So you can skate along picking up single arrows or you can pick up a cluster. Clusters come in three, right here. The great thing about this game is that it's very easy to learn. The controls and the movements come naturally and they feel right. And it will take a good deal of practice to really develop your skills. I can see the difference in the levels of players. You can do a one verse one. We try to do a three verse three, but we had to wait for a long time and there were players in the queue, so I'm not sure if it's just because it was early in the morning and uh, people in different time zones just weren't quite awake yet. Other players were very patient and very helpful. Mm -hmm. I think this would be a very interesting game to play three versus three. It was fun with one versus one. With one versus one, I think it's very clear when there's a difference in skill level. As a beginner, the people that we were playing were definitely more advanced in their skill levels. It was useful to learn new skills, but I think that if there was a three verse three, it would be more balanced in skill. If you get really queasy moving through space in VR, this may not be a good game for you. You can increase your tolerance for moving through space with practice and also keeping a fan on your body so that it feels like you're moving. Another trick I've learned is that if you stand in place but you just lift your heels and keep your toes on the ground, that can also help you get accustomed to traveling through space. I love $10 games. I feel like they're not much of an investment, so they don't really need to take a lot to impress me. This is definitely a good $10 game to have in my library.